This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special bonus show. We have a good friend of mine. He is uh, already an author. He just, he did a book called I Killed the True Stories of the Road from America's Top Comics. He was also got a great podcast called You Don't Know Schiff. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the funniest men in the universe, it's Mark Schiff. Oh, yeah. Mark. So good to have you back on the show. You've been so busy uh, during and post-COVID. You've got this great podcast. I want to talk about that, but you've got a, an exciting new book coming out. I do. And by the way, that, of course, that you had in the beginning, even though it's fake, I, 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 it, it trips me up. You know, when a comedian hears a course, even if it's fake, we get excited. <laughs> But uh, as Milton Burrow used to say, when he opens the refrigerator, he does five minutes. Just, <laughs> just, just we see the light go on, we go right into it, and we hear the applause. So thank you for having me, Scott. I know you for, I know you were longer than I know my wife, my kids. I, I, I know you since we were kids almost. In our 20s. <laughs> we were we were young and dumb back in the day, but we did a lot of great work and uh, shared a lot of great comedy with people. I should explain for those that don't know, Mark Schiff is one of, uh, as I said, the funniest men in the universe, which was a club started in New York with uh, people like Paul Reiser and Jerry Seinfeld and Larry Miller, good friend of mine, and uh, been a terrifically successful comic, lots of TV a uh, very, very funny guy. And a few years ago, you came out with a book called I Killed, The True Stories of the Road from America's Top Comics, which was very entertaining, very funny. I enjoyed it. But uh, you've been doing some more writing. What what uh, topic have we taken right. on this time? So I have a new book coming out November the 8th. And uh, find it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. It's called Why Not? Question mark. Lessons on comedy, courage, and chutzpah. Chutzpah, if you don't know, is like uh, gall, courage, you know. This, I wrote this book on my COVID vacation. You know, <laughs> I, I don't, COVID vacation, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah, I took a two and a half, uh, two and a half year vacation. Could not do stand up. It was, it was decimated. I was on the road to Seinfeld for the last 20 years. I get a phone call one day. All our gigs are off. It's over. And by the way, this week i go back on the road with jerry we do four shows in san diego and four shows in riverside california i just got uh, a, a little thing he, he he asked me to meet him in van nuys to fly up on his plane with him oh that'd be fun so, but getting back to the book it's called why yes. not lessons of comedy lessons on comic courage and chutzpah comedy and courage is, and chutzpah got it no not 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 sure you you, you just proved to us how non-jewish you are it's chutzpah, like, like you oh, get the There you go. Now you're a member of the tribe. <laughs> Welcome aboard. So it's 60 essays, some funny, some very moving on subjects like age, community, dieting, helping others, friends, love, marriage, self-help. I cover all these topics. It's a very moving, and, and it really it is. I think three quarters of it is a, a memoir about my life with famous people, raising my kids, my marriage, growing up in New York in the Bronx, my parents, and how I became a comedian. And the reviews are coming in. We just got a Publishers Weekly review, which is uh, generally they're very difficult to please. They gave me a, a bang up review of the book. The guy said the last line was, You came for the comedy and you stayed for the heart. Oh, Isn't that's that a, nice a great line? review. Yeah, yeah, it, it was really uh, something. And um, the book's coming out November the 8th. It took me the entire COVID, the two and a half years, to write this book. You know, one day, Scott, I realized I had no more work. I wasn't going to make any money, and I refused to just sit down and watch TV for two and a half years. I didn't have long, you know, none of us know how long it was going to be. We thought maybe a couple months. So I said, you know, you better get busy. You're a writer. 
You've been writing your stand-up comedy for the last 40 years. Write a book. And I write. I wrote a book, and I started a podcast. It kept me very busy. And, and because of uh, something like Zoom, and you have a podcast, you know, you don't have to actually get in the same room with people. Yeah. So I started interviewing people on my podcast. and uh, We want to let the audience know you've got a terrific podcast called You Don't Know Chef. You've had some terrific guests. Uh, Paul Reiser was the last one I heard. Another terrific comic in, in uh, TV and movie star. And you have really had some fun with the podcast. But I think it's interesting that uh, the podcast and the book is what really kept your creative juices going for the COVID break. I would have gone crazy. I would have, you know, listen, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I like watching TV. I like, you know, exercising, but, you know, I, I made a decision. I didn't get muscular during COVID. I, I, I got artistic. Um, yeah. If I didn't do this, I don't know. And, and not being able to do stand up, I would actually do stand up in my room sometimes just by myself, just to stay sharp. But writing this book has been one of the greatest uh, blessings for me. I've been writing for the Jewish Journal. A newspaper here it has a very big circulation, a couple hundred thousand people. And when I write to them, people write me back telling me how much they love my work. And it's, they tell me that it's the first thing they turn to in the journal when they get it. It's, it's a newspaper that comes to them every week. That that encouragement says, you know something, Mark, you're onto something. Continue on. Sometimes you just got to follow the path that's being laid out in front of you and do the work. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, that's exactly what happened when COVID hit is that some people just shut down, but creative people, uh, uh, for me, example, for you, example, and, and many other of our friends in the entertainment business, we tried to find other outlets for our creative juices, uh, doing a podcast, writing a book. I just talked to a, a gentleman that uh, is a playwright. He wrote a play. There's uh, Ed Solomon was working on a new movie project. There's different ways to stay busy and keep those creative juices going, but you have to have the discipline uh, and the work ethic to get it done. And I'm this book sounds amazing. Why not? the lessons of comedy, courage, and chutzpah. And it uh, it sounds like something that's going to be kind of a compilation of your life, uh, which has been very successful and very funny. I think it sounds like a great read. Yeah, people are, are, are enjoying it. It's, it's, some sample copies have been out there. You know, you hit it uh, about discipline. Writing a book, and the, the great writers will tell you this. I'm not including myself in that. I'm, I'm quoting other people. But they tell you, the hardest thing is, is to sit down and stay seated when you're writing. Um, I've never had a problem, Scott, uh, with, with uh, writer's block, but I had a problem with ass block. You know, I can't uh, sit down and, and just, uh, but I've gotten good at it. I've learned how to do it. You shut the internet <laughs> down, you shut your phone down, and, and, you do, and you just do it. And I was blessed. I have an agent. His name is Murray Weiss. He's a guy in New York who uh, I sent him the book. You know, it's interesting. We call it Why Not. Can I give you the rule why this uh, came about? What did Murray think okay. of your idea? Well, you know, he said, to, you know, he said, I said to Murray, I think I, I wrote a book here. You want to read it? He said, why not? <laughs> right? So I said, oh, okay. And I sent, I sent it to him and he read it. And then he said, listen, if we do some work on the book, he says, if, you, if you're willing to do some work, I think maybe then we can send it out to some publishers. So I said, why not? <laughs> so... He sent me all this stuff to do, and I did it. And then he calls me a couple months later, and he says, listen, I think we got in shape. Are you okay that I start sending out the publishers? What do you think I said to him, Scott? Why not? Why not? So, ladies and, and then, gentlemen, uh, that's the name of the book. Why not? Lessons of Comedy, yeah. Courage, and Hootspah. It'll be available on Amazon at Barnes & Noble. Books of Millions and the bookshop.org. You're getting it out there and it releases November 8th, but it sounds like a, a great book, a good read and a perfect gift for the holidays. It is a perfect gift for the holidays. It's, it's, it's a warm, friendly, funny, moving book. Nobody gets hurt in it. I'm, I'm not saying nasty things about anybody. And, and I, I really want to thank my publisher, Apollo Publishers. A lot of people rejected this book. But then it got into the hands of a lady named Julia Abernoff at Apollo, Apollo Publishers, a young 
lady, you know, she's, I think, in her early 30s and stuff like that. And she read it. She got it. She understood it. And they called me up and they said, we like the publish. And you know what I said to her? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, there you go, Scott. You know, what's great is not only in the book, uh, you'll be referencing some of your good friends in the business, Jerry Seinfeld, Paul Reisel, Carol Leifer, and Larry David, but also the uh, podcast, You Don't Know Schiff. It sounds like you've had some fun with that as well. It's been unbelievable. We, we've had, we, we, we opened with uh, Kevin Nealon. We just did Tom Dreesen. We did uh, Kathy Ladman. We got Judd Apatow coming up. Jay Leno's going to be coming on. Seinfeld say was coming on. We have Paul Reiser, uh, Brian Kiley. It's been uh, George Wallace we did two episodes with. And we're not just doing comedy stuff. We're really digging into their lives a little and their process. It's, it's, been, it's been so exciting. You know, these are friends of mine. I, I know a lot of these people. And you really get a chance to have a two-hour conversation with, with, with your friends like that. And, and we did it. And my co-host, Will Benjamin, has been wonderful. He's a young guy in his early 30s. So he's bringing in the young people, and I'm bringing in uh, the old parts. And it's, it's, it's been exciting to start doing this podcast. It really has. I didn't think I, I didn't know if I'd like it. I, I'm actually loving it. Well, that's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we so appreciate having a chance to have uh, the famous Mark Schiff on our podcast again. And if you get a chance, check out his podcast, You Don't Know Schiff. But more importantly, mark your calendars on November 8th, this new book coming out, Why Not? Lessons on Comedy, Courage, and Chutzpah. Hey, Mark, thanks for uh, joining us today and sharing uh, this exciting new book with my audience. And you, you know, you know why I did this talk to you? Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I... a callback. That's a callback. That's what I do. Can I do the callback? I stole your line. Well, it's going to be, uh, uh, the, all the reviews say it's a great book. Uh, I think it'll make a great gift for the holidays. Mark, thanks for, uh, joining us. You have a great time touring with Jerry and have some great shows. Ladies and gentlemen, his podcast, you don't know Schiff in his new book. Why not lessons on comedy, courage, and chutzpah. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Scott. All right, ladies well, and gentlemen. Thanks for having me. We'll be back with another great show this weekend. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. For information on the show, merchandise, and our sponsors, or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you.